Hey, um, this is a quick tutorial on Motion Builder and um, using the voice device to animate a character, well, to lip sync a character to, um, to some pre recorded audio. I've been having a look all, all around online trying to find out how to do this, and whilst there's a lot of, a lot of helpful stuff, none of it seemed to go all the way and I was a bit stuck. So, um, since I did manage to get it going, I'm going to make this video um, just if anyone else needs the help. So, as you can see, I've got my scene set up, got a character in here. I've got my um, navigator at the top and the asset browser down down here. Your screen may look slightly different and um, you know you can set that up any way you want. Anyway to start things off we'll go to um, we need to go to our audio so um, I've got that saved here under the asset browser. Test audio and for this one it's just um, let's see we'll use the archer. So you just click on your your audio file drag it across to your character. Once it highlights, let go of the mouse. Give you two options, create and attach facial. Choose attach facial. A couple of things will happen when you do that. You'll get a character face, your character face in here and your relations. <coughs> You'll also get um, devices, your voice device and your file in there. Now this is what we want to look at here. Um, there are tutorials on what you should set up for all your uh, phenomes. Um, so let's see, let's just add in these here, which we've got AO, AX, FV, IY, KG, LM, NO, PB, um, SZ, SH, TD, UH, and UW. These are, that's what Motion Builder, or Autodesk recommends um, the minimum for decent voice take. So click OK to that and they'll all appear in there. Now you can see if we scrub through our um, it will yeah, it'll pick up the audio and start adjusting accordingly. So um, let's um, let's run through this. Cry havoc and let's slip the hogs of war. Cry havoc. Now you can see them all moving. Right, so now we need to connect them to the character face. Now what I discovered is we need to add an actor face. So if we throw the actor face in the same way we added the um, the audio file, drop it on top of your character, set source. Right. Now, the last thing we need to do, or one of the last things, I can never quite remember if this is the last bit, is in the relations editor, you can see there's no connections between the voice and uh, whatever these things are. So just set those up, link them in. Now in previous versions of Motion Builder, I believe this was done automatically. Right, so just get all these set up. Now you can just scale as you normally would in whichever keyboard layout you find the easiest. I've got it set to my layout here. But um, when we set the settings for the blend shapes, you'll, um, well, I find I always have to change my keyboard. If anyone knows how to, there's this one certain bit that I can only seem to find works with the motion builder layout. But um, anyway, we got all those set. Now if we go into our character face, these are the expressions it set up when we added the voice device and added those in. And these are the um, blend shapes that were imported from with our character from Maya. So in order to get these working, we need to highlight the, the expression we want and set it. And you can see his mouth opening there. AX shape, set that to 100%. You can go further if you like, you can go lower, it's, um, whichever you prefer. So we'll get all these set up. one by one click through them oh, going a bit higher there you can see on the um, the viewport to the to the right you know he'll um, start adjusting the uh, adopting the pose or well, not the pose the, the shape and um, so you can take a look see if you like it see if you don't and uh, maybe drop that down I'm just assuming that's the end shape I seem to have forgot to name it but they all seem to be in order so um, 
Oops. Come back a bit. Um, sorry, it messed up a little bit there. Sorry about this. And we're nearly done. Now make sure this is not set to active. You see, when, when you do this part, otherwise you won't see it change. It'll just stay. But once you're done, you can set it to active. Give ourselves a bit more screen real estate here. And I'm hoping... Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Let slip the hogs of war. War. A little clip from Archer that I've got. The other thing is, you can see his teeth don't move as we. And that was what I was talking about earlier when I said um, I always have to switch this, um, keyboard back to motion builder. Which it doesn't seem to like in this instance. So maybe it was Motion Builder Classic I wanted. Anyhow. Let's head back to Maya. Move right in. If we select the teeth, I've got these set up with a blend shape already. Just, just one shape. Now if we change the layout, so the keyboard configuration back to Motion Builder. Press Alt and drag it across as the teeth lower, so we can go to our expressions and turn it off. <coughs> if we go to our expressions, he'll open his mouth accordingly, and we can just adjust how we want our teeth. Just a little bit, doesn't have to be all the way. You can do the same with a, with a tongue as well, because the tongue doesn't make too many different shapes. Um, I don't have a tongue set up in this scene. Um, this is really still beginning all this stuff, so I haven't got a lot of anything, really. It's also my first tutorial, so um, I'm a bit nervous, and uh, my vocals may not be coming across very well, and I'm probably jabbering about a whole bunch of stuff. Yeah, not really that interested in. <coughs> anyway, that's that done. Turn it back to active, and let's play through this again. Let's uh, turn that off. Give us some more screen real estate. Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Now I don't know much about this part, so at the moment all I'm doing is um, these control the smoothness of it. I seem to set them just all the way up, and there's a, there's a many ways you can adjust this, and I. I don't know really any of them right now, but I will be looking into that in the future. So, um, let's see if that looks any better. Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Cry havoc. Alright, set my keyboard back to Maya, which is my preferred. Not close, it's probably still a bit jerky, but. Cry havoc and let slip the hogs of war. Cry havoc and let's. That's it. Um, I might have a look back this and back through this and clean it up. But um, thanks.